everyone. Today I wanted to talk about styling super duper short hair. I'm not talking about like a bob or like hair that's like six inches long. I'm talking about straight up short, short hair. Maybe you've gone through chemotherapy. Maybe um, you just, you did a buzz cut and now you've just got a tiny bit of hair coming out and it's curly and it's unmanageable and you're not sure how to style it, I've got some tips for you. So the first thing you want to do is obviously shower, wash your hair, and when you come out, sometimes that's when the problems will start because your hair will start to get curly and you won't know what to do and it's just kind of frizzy. The first thing I would say is don't rub it with a towel at all. Don't rub your hair, it will make it frizzier. It just fluffs it up and it makes it curly. You don't want that. What you want to do is um, when your hair is wet, you just want to pat it, pat it dry as much as you can, and then you want to use some sort of product on it. Um, I love this Kristen S. Um, Weightless Shine Air Dry Creme. Uh, I think this is only available at Target, and it's a pretty reasonable price. I remember it being around ten bucks. We don't. I'm, I'm in Canada. We don't have it here, so I kind of I grabbed this last time I was in the states. Um, visiting San Diego. Um, it's nice. It smells good. I think you're going to like it. It says for all hair types, frizz calming, shine restoring, softening and smoothing, time saving. Um, I really like it. So it says to just use a tiny amount, work a dime to quarter sized amount of this through your hair. I would use more. I would just, don't be cheap. Just use a bunch of it. So rub that all through your hair. Kind of get it laying down as much as you can the way you want. And then the next trick is to use a cap. You can also use, um, I've seen people use like um, a knee high, like tied up, like a knee, knee high nylons, you know, just tied at the top to make this kind of hat. Or you can get this. This I got at CVS um, and it's just a cap. I think I got it near the headband section, if that helps at all. Um, so what you do is you just, your hair's all wet, you have your cream in, and you just pop this on. Right? Is it sexy? No. No, not at all. But it does the trick. She let that dry. And because your hair's under this thing, it could take, it could take a while for your hair to get dry. Um, you know, everyone is different. But if I have this on around the house, it probably takes me, I'd say, 45 minutes. Sometimes it's still not dry because there's an elastic band in there, and under the band it's... It's not that dry. So anyhow, take your time, let it air dry like that. Um, and when you take it off, your hair will be pretty, it should be pretty flat at that point. Um, if it's not, sometimes you'll get weird little bits that stick up. And you know, I think that's part of the appeal of having shorter hair, but if you're having like a really sticky uppy bit that you can't get down, what I would do is just, you know, you just take a bobby pin and you just, you just clip it down. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to go out like that, but you can just let it dry like that. And when you go, when you do go out, just try and remember to take it out of your hair. And it should be lying a bit flatter at that point. Okay, so my next tip is, once your hair's grown out a little bit, you can use this flat iron. What you need is a small, small flat iron. You see it's not very wide at all. You can't use the ones that go on longer hair that are like twice the size of this. Um, that is just too much paddle for a short amount of hair. But when it's like this, you know, and you can try if they let you try it in the store, just grab a little bit of your hair and you can even tell like in the store whether you're gonna be, whether you've got enough length there, right? So what I do when I use this is I just sort of, you can use like a rat tail comb. I just use my fingers and I just kind of pick it up and I just sort of go through and I just go through all my hair. The back is kind of hard to do and it sort of curls back up. You know, it's not gonna look, Perfect. And that's kind of not the point. You know, have a little fun. Your hair can be a little bit messy. It's okay. It's okay. Um, the next tip is to get some cute hair bands and stuff like that. I picked this one up. This also was at Target and it wasn't too pricey and you just stick it on there and I think it looks super cute. Very easy to do. Your hair does not have to be perfect. Right? What do you think? I saw these also at CVS. They had a whole bunch of really cute ones and they were even less expensive than the ones at Target. So I can't remember what the name of this was, but you get the idea. I mean, you can wear a headband too. I don't like headbands. I have a large head. 
they they give me a headache like right away so i don't use them i use the stretchy kind instead for my big head works great um the next thing that i started off this with was just another headband this one was from h m it's just another stretchy soft one this one was on sale for like a couple bucks i thought it was cute you can wear it with the knotted side up or you can put the knot to the back and just wear it more of a flat look, you know, and it kind of keeps the hair down. I think it looks pretty cute. What do you think? What do you say? Um, lastly, I got this one. And this feels like, not, it feels like a pair of nylons. I mean, maybe if you're crafty, you could even just get a pair of black nylons, like opaque nylons and just tie it up. Um, but what I liked about this one when I saw it is, you know, it's stretchy big head issue that I was telling you about and it has a bow but the the bow's not too big I find it's kind of subtle so you can wear it out you know um and it looks pretty good I think yeah. so there you have it those are my tips I hope they were helpful if they were just give me a like thanks bye